If you're looking to mine Pyron but stuck on which graphics card to choose, look no further. I've sifted through the top 25 GPUs comparing them across five key metrics including dollar per hash, revenue, overall profit, efficiency and of course the payback period. I've compiled a complete spreadsheet, fully customizable and freely available for you to use. So sit back, relax and let's find out where the big profits are being made. All right, guys, so here we are on the infamous spreadsheet. Now, I have used this spreadsheet before um, to compare a number of different coins, so I won't give you too much detail. We'll go through it very quickly for the people who are uh, new here. Uh, first up, cards, as you can see, self-explanatory. Uh, where we've bought them from, either brand new or top quality secondhand cards, uh, not your, your dodgy cards from old mate selling it for half the price. Um, we have a number of different metrics here, which we'll get into a bit later. Coin weightings, which we'll also get to in a bit later. Right now, Pyron is number one, and the rest we'll go through right now. So as far as Pyron is concerned, this is the coin that we've got up now. So some of our different metrics that we discussed, we have the dollar per hash score, revenue score, total profit, efficiency, and payback score, and a weighted score overall. So dollar per hash is basically your bang for buck. If you're trying to get the most hash rate per dollar spent, this is where you would go. Um, very simply, click largest to smallest. It gives you that information there, but we'll be doing a lot more of that as we go on. Uh, revenue score, this is if, for instance, you really believe in Pyron, you're not worried about where electricity costs are, you just want to get as much of it as possible, as much yield, this is where you would look. Uh, your total profit, that's going to be how much coin you're yielding after you've paid for your electricity and taken that costage out of your revenue. Now, in this instance, I've used my own electricity rate, so your numbers will be slightly different, but what this spreadsheet will do is rank it in order from best to worst amongst these cards. Um, moving along, efficiency. Um, once again, somewhat explanatory, but for those who don't know, this is how many giga hash per watt. So that's basically how much hash rate you're getting per how much electricity you're using. Now, as a miner, this should be everyone's, well, most people's uh, prioritized uh, section, I would say and payback period here at the end, which is looking a lot better since this recent Pyron pump. Um, if you're interested in basically just, you're spending say 1600 bucks on a 49er, you wanna know, okay, I'm gonna sell every day. I'm making 259 profit or 348 revenue. How many days is it gonna take me to pay back that, uh, pay off that card, I should say. So first up, let's start with the uh, dollar per hash or your bang for bucks. So if we go largest to smallest, we can see the mighty 4060 Ti is on top. Um, and that's a brand new card. So that's outbeating all of the secondhand cards, older 30 series generation, which is pretty impressive. For the more experienced miners, they know 4060 Ti, it's a, it's a hell of a card. And if you're looking at getting into mining, 4060 Ti's are a great way to go. Um, look, not sure how they go with gaming, if you're one of those sort of people that want to do a bit of both, so you have to do your own research on that. 3070 and 3060 Ti, millions of those available on eBay. Um, you can get them slightly cheaper than this, but, you know, we, we, we've picked decent cards, decent brands like EVGAs, things like that, Asus Tufts, um, you know, not your Dells and other things like that. Now the 4080, 4090s, the, the higher powered 40 series, obviously a lot of these are brand new. The secondhand prices weren't that far off, so I figured for the sake of buying a new versus used card for an extra 100 bucks discount, I think most people would go the brand new with the warranty. Definitely a, a, a smarter way to go if there's very slight difference in the price between new and secondhand. And poor old AMD, not great for Pyron, so that's... Uh, that's down the bottom, as we'll see quite frequently when it comes to Pyron. Now, it does do better on other algorithms. I can't find it where. We won't look now, but you know, if you're looking at mining um, core power, then AMD is a good place to go. Revenue, I'm sure, will be uh, fairly obvious for everyone. The more powerful cards, 4090s, 4080s, um, right down the list, basically 40 series on top. Um, 7900 XT, some of the more high-powered AMD cards outbeating the mighty 3070. Once again, 1660 Ti's. 
uh, 6700s down the bottom. Now that we're not going to go into heaps of detail here, we're sort of zooming through it because you can pause or download the spreadsheet yourself, which will uh, which will be in the description and figure all that out. Now profit often, uh, especially with the 40 series, follows um, the revenue because um, a lot of these newer cards are, are super efficient uh, especially the 4090 4080 is just great cards very expensive but 49 would be a great place to go if you've got the money middle of the range again um, as expected same with the revenue for the 7900 6900 all those good ones now efficiency 4070 Ti on top. Now these are based off my numbers and some hashrate.no numbers. So yes, you can get slightly better efficiency with slightly less power doing all that sort of stuff. But these are pretty stock standard. And for most of the newer people, this is probably the, the overclocks you'd be using. So not a lot in between these top three. You know, the 4070 Ti out doing the 4090 by what, 6%? So not heaps. You know, especially 0.059 to 0.56. Poor AMD down the bottom. Surprised actually the, the 6700 XT did pretty well as far as efficiency. Um, now I don't have these this card personally, um, but if you do and it's an AMD one, so there might be a chance to uh, mine a bit of power and pretty efficiently with that. Um, so then the payback score. 4060 Ti dominating, it's just so cheap. 295 was the cheapest I've found it. I know a lot of other people in different discords have found similar prices, but you've got to be quick. Generally, they'll be slightly more expensive than that. But you know, you, you, you take what you can get. 3080, 30 series up there, 4060 Ti, 3060 Ti, sorry, I guess a lot of the secondhand ones are going to be up there. You know, it, it's more heavily weighted to the pre-owned stuff as opposed to the store new up top when it comes to payback period. So that makes, I mean, that makes sense. That's pretty self-explanatory. Now I did add these 1660 Ti's and Super, one, because I love them, and two, because I think a lot of people who've been mining for a long time have probably got 1660's um, Ti's and Supers. So we thought we'd throw them in there for a bit of fun, but as you can see, a lot of red down here, not doing well. And the AMD cards as well, they're just expensive. You know, look at this, where's this 7900 XT, 700 bucks. That was secondhand, one of the best prices I could find. So the payback score, not great for that. But overall, we can now have a look at the weighted score. 4090 on top. So the best card to buy for mining Pyron, if you've got the money to do so. You can see revenue, profit, um, efficiency right up there. Payback periods right up there as well. And it's, it's the leader by quite a substantial margin. It seems that these uh, 40 series cards finally are outdoing the likes of the, the 3070s, the 3060 Ti's. Just better quality cards all around, even for the, for the money that you're spending for them. You know, they're definitely, definitely the way to go. And I know I need to uh, start investing in some more 40 series cards. I'm about 50% 3070s, 20% 3060 Ti's. I got some 6600 XT's on, on core power. So time to start branching out, I think and get some of those. So we just whizzed through those numbers there. Um, fairly self-explanatory, you guys can pause it, um, check down the rankings, do your own stuff, or like I said, get that, uh, download that spreadsheet yourself and do your own tweaking, enter your own numbers. But if you wanted, for instance, to uh, split up uh, these weightings, so you didn't want an even weighting across the board, you wanted to say, focus on, all right, what's my best dollar per hash and how quick can I pay this card back off? You'll see that things change uh, pretty drastically. So that puts the 4060 Ti on top over the 4090. Look, I could have told you that one, the 4060 Ti once again, just a beast. Um, but that's the, the beauty of this spreadsheet. So you guys can adjust things as you want. Um, you know, change all the metrics around to what sort of suits your style and, and and how you want to mine, you know, whether it be 100% revenue, 100% efficiency, etc. So it's all got it in here. And like I said, a bunch of different cards, uh, algorithms I've already got on there if you wanted to have a look yourself and maybe tweak your own numbers again. That will wrap it up, guys. Just a short uh, little video, hopefully to help you make uh, some more informed decisions. But, you know, remember, do your own research. These are just my numbers. I'm just a guy sitting in front of a camera. so. 
you know, make sure you, you do all your own research, check your budgets, all that good stuff before you make any decisions. So if you liked the video, hit that like button for me. I'll be much appreciated and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.